What is a vaccine? A vaccine is a product or a medication which trains our immune system to fight a disease that it's never come into contact with before. They're specifically designed to prevent a disease rather than treat it once you've already caught it. How exactly does it work? We can explain how vaccines work by first discussing how our immune system works, since vaccines harness the natural activity that takes place within our immune system. In our bodies, we have trillions of bacteria and viruses, but not all of them are harmful. Just as I discussed in my previous video, bacteria and viruses make us sick when they multiply and proliferate in our bodies. But we can actually prevent this from happening. Our immune system quickly recognizes incoming bacteria and viruses and labels them as invaders. This is based off of the proteins or sugars that they have on their surface, which is distinctly different from what human proteins or sugars have. So when these are recognized, it triggers a chain of events which involve different white blood cells and they work together. A specific type of white blood cell called B cell lymphocytes, these can actually make these proteins called antibodies, and antibodies are what fight the invaders off. Antibodies stick to proteins or sugars that are found on the surfaces of bacteria and viruses, which can kill or disable them. But any generic antibody won't work, it has to be specially crafted just like a key fits a lock. Our immune system has a library of billions of white blood cells, and that can make different types of antibodies, but only some of them can match an incoming invader. So if you wanna make a new antibody with the right fit, it can take several days, which ultimately gives enough time for bacteria or viruses to invade your body and make you really sick. Eventually, when the right antibody is made, it can get rid of all of the bacteria or viruses. After this, antibodies remain in your blood or some white blood cells become memory cells. So if these bacteria or viruses invade the body ever again, your immune system can quickly respond as it's already prepared. And this is exactly what vaccines do. So vaccines, they actually contain weakened or dead bacteria or viruses. And these are injected into us to convince our immune system that we have an invader. The same process that I just discussed will take place, except this time you won't get sick since these aren't the actual bacteria or viruses. But if your body in the future ever meets the real invader, your immune system can remember it and get rid of it before you even knew it was there. Of course, all credit goes to Edward Jenner, the founder of vaccinology. In 1796, he inoculated a 13-year-old boy with cowpox, who later demonstrated immunity to smallpox, which was an epidemic that was killing hundreds of thousands at the time. So why is getting vaccinated so important? Besides the most obvious reason of protecting us from disease, some individuals are still hesitant about vaccination. If an unvaccinated child is exposed to a disease or a germ, the child's body may not be strong enough to fight the disease. Before vaccines, many children died from diseases that vaccines can now easily prevent, such as whooping cough, measles, and polio. Those same germs exist today, but because babies are protected by vaccines, we don't see these diseases nearly as often. Immunizing individual children also helps to protect the health of our community, especially those individuals who are unable to get immunized, such as children who are too young to be vaccinated or those who can't receive certain vaccines due to medical reasons. And there's also a small proportion of people who don't respond to a particular vaccine. This is also known as herd immunity. When lots of people in an area are vaccinated or have already been infected with the disease, Fewer people get sick, and fewer germs are able to spread from person to person. Vaccine-preventable diseases have a costly impact, resulting in doctor's visits, hospitalizations, and premature deaths. Any vaccine can cause side effects. Usually, these side effects are minor. It can include a low-grade fever, fussiness, and soreness at the injection site. Some vaccines can also cause a temporary headache, fatigue, or a loss of appetite but rarely a child might experience a severe allergic reaction or a neuro neurological side effect, such as a seizure. Although these rare side effects are a concern, the risk of a vaccine causing serious harm or death is extremely small. The benefits of getting a vaccine are much greater than the possible side effects for almost all individuals.